Hello, I'm Dr. Ezi, and I'm trying to help you to pass your MRCS Part B examination. And uh, we are still continuing in the uh, parotid gland station. And as usual, there are uh, questions about other pathological topics that are included in every station in the exam. So uh, here uh, and now, there will be uh, questions about uh, basic pathology, and they will uh, they are going to ask you about the features of malignancy. Okay, so what are the features of malignancy? And the features of malignancy are many, and uh, you want to mention them all because they are. Uh, not difficult. Number one, you want to know that there is loss of differentiation, okay? And loss of differentiation means that uh, there is a, a, a difference between the cancerous cells and the original cells. For example, the benign tumors, most of them, uh, their cells are resembling the original texture or the original cells of the tissue. Uh, as the, the cancer gets more malignant, it gets more undifferentiated. So it is poorly differentiated and then undifferentiated until it becomes uh, anaplastic. Okay, anaplastic carcinoma is the worst and the uh, mostly undifferentiated type. Okay, so this is the first point. The second point here that you want to know is that there will be disordered uh, growth pattern. Okay there will be disordered growth patterns, okay? So uh, the, the growth of the cancer is not regular as the growth of the normal cells, okay? So the third thing is that there will be uh, some variabilities in the cells. And these variabilities, we can uh, connect them together, okay? There are some variabilities, and these variabilities include uh, variabilities in uh, the size of the cells, there will be uh, every every cell will have a different size which is not normal in the normal cells and tissues uh, there will be uh, also a difference and variability in the size of the nucleus in every cell so the nuclei will be different okay also the nucleoli okay the nucleoli uh, maybe more than normal and with different sizes. So there will be variability in the uh, size of the cells, variability in the size of the nuclei, and there will be uh, variability in the nucleoli. Okay. So uh, about this point here, this uh, here about the cell and nuclear size, there is another point that is important, and you want to know that the uh, nuclear nuclear uh, size to cytoplasmic size will be uh, uh, will be high in cancer cells or in malignant cells so it is called uh, a high nuclear uh, cytoplasmic ratio okay it is called high nuclear cytoplasmic ratio okay and this is one of the of the of the of the characteristics of the malignant cells also okay well uh, let us go to another feature of of malignant cells and uh, uh, let us choose here the mitotic activity okay you will have increased mitotic activity more mitosis because there is more cell division okay and uh, the evidence for that uh, is there will be more mitotic figures you know in the cell cycle uh, uh, most of the cells will be in a situation of uh, division and, and duplication of the of the uh, nuclear material and dna and so on so mitotic figures will be higher or more okay and related to that also there will be an increase or abnormal chromatin pattern okay let us call it abnormal here but it is related to the nucleus and dna so let us mention it. abnormal chromatin pattern okay or patterns okay
So these are the things related to the uh, uh, genetic material. There will be increased mitotic activity. According to that, there will be increased mitotic figures, and there will be abnormal uh, chromatic uh, uh, patterns. Chromatic is from chromatin, from the genetic material. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I think that these are all the uh, features that you want to know. Okay. And uh, if you mention them in this way, uh, you will get the full mark, okay?